When stress begins to accumulate from negative or challenging events in life that just keep coming, you can find yourself in a state of feeling emotionally worn out and drained. This is called emotional exhaustion. In life, we are bound to have ups and downs, and most times it feels like no one understands what we are going through, no matter how we try to explain it to them. To us, it feels like no one understands. No one on this planet will understand you because they are not the manufacturer, but God is. He understands you more than anyone will ever do, and He will be right there to comfort and give you strength. If you are emotionally exhausted from trying to explain yourself, from trying to make them see, why not talk to God? He will listen and He will get to you. There are times you feel lost. Not knowing where to start from and where to go, and the more you think about it, it continues to drain you of all energy and makes you feel emotionally exhausted. Don't worry, God is here for you, and you can always talk to Him to guide you. The good news for us is that we have a friend in Jesus who is available to hear all we have to say 24/7. It doesn't matter where you are. The situation you were in, and guess what? We need no money or any material thing to get to him. The access to him is free. We can relate with him anyhow. We want any place, and he is always open to hearing us. A very popular hymn says, "They're not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one, not. We have a friend in Jesus who we can tell it all to, and he will listen." And not judge. He knows all about your sorrows, and he will guide you till the day is dawn. Just talk to God. If you are down and your heart is in trouble, then look to Philippians chapter four, verse six, which says, "Have no anxiety about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God." Talk to God, your Creator. It could be through prayer. It could be through thanksgiving. Just make your requests be known to Him, and He will lift the burden. God is not a man that He should lie. He is not a man that He will judge you because of what is making you feel emotionally exhausted. God is a spirit, and because He is the spirit, He understands your spirit more than you, and knows exactly how to treat it and make you okay. If you talk to men, they will never be able to help you. As much as God will be able to help you, so talk to God. All men are in the flesh; they can put on the behavior of the flesh, which are selfishness, malicious acts, lack of self-control, gossip, and so. But God will never do that because He is not a man, and He is holy. He knows what you are going through. He knew you even before you were born, and so he knows there will be a time when you will be emotionally exhausted, and that is why he already made a way out for you. He knows your capability and how far your strength can take you, because he loves and cares for you so much. With God, you can be sure that the secret that is making you emotionally exhausted is safe with him. God is not going to go about announcing your problem to whoever cares to listen. Your secret is going to remain safe and your integrity safe. God has the power to give you what you need without adding conditions to it, because He's not a man. The moment you come into His presence, He knows why you are there, and all you need to do is enjoy the peace that His presence can give. Talking is a very good therapy when you are feeling emotionally exhausted. It helps you relieve the stress and saves you from depression. You can talk to anybody who you trust, but the best friend that will not only listen but help you is God. So talk to Him. Talk to Jesus because He's the best friend that you can ever have. He knows our sorrows because He was once here in the world, and whatever you are feeling. He has felt it. The Lord was speaking, and He said, "Do not be dismayed, 
for I have conquered the world, so whatever you feel now, just talk to him, because he knows what to do to come out of that difficult situation. God has already conquered what is making you feel emotionally exhausted, and with him, you can be sure that you too have conquered. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says, There is time and season for everything under the sun. This season that you are feeling emotionally exhausted might be that time in your life. However, it is not going to last forever. Joy must come in the morning. This season is not going to be the end of you. You are going to come out strong and this feeling shall pass, just like every other problem that was once bothering you. Jesus speaking says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. There is rest for your soul when talking to him. He takes your burden away and gives you rest. As you talk to God, you command peace to come into your heart, and your faith in prayers will bring to pass everything that you need to make your joy complete. There are times you will not be able to find the words because of how heavy your heart is. Trust me, He hears even the unspoken words, just dwell in His presence. The constant struggles and demands of life will be intense some days, and your emotional exhaustion will be more. However, don't stop talking to God. He's never tired of listening. He is constantly on the clock walking and bringing your heart's desires to pass, so don't stop talking till your joy and peace are complete. We feel exhausted and discouraged, and there never seems to be enough hours in the day to get everything done that we need to get completed, and so we give up. Yes, it's hard to keep going in the face of defeat and discouragement, but remember that you are not alone. God is with you, and He has promised never to leave you nor forsake Him when you talk to Him. There's clarity when you talk to God, and He begins to open your eyes to the things unseen. All the things that are making you feel emotionally exhausted are in Christ and with Him it comes with ease. Talk to God every day of your life because the success of your life depends on it. You are going to remain the way you are and constantly feel emotionally exhausted if you do not learn to talk to God. The problem and challenges of this world are never ending and you need God to help you clear the path to have a stress-free life. The most successful people in life are the people who spend most of their time talking to their fathers. Do you think there was never a time when they were overwhelmed with their problems? Trust me, there was. They too were feeling emotionally exhausted, but when they lay their burdens and talk to God, just the way it is, it doesn't just stop at talking. He gives them rest and shows them the next step to take. In the same way, talk to God when you are emotionally exhausted and when you are not, and He is sure to help you when you need it and even before you need it. Some of us like filtering the words. We feel some things are supposed to be said, and the ones that should not be said, Beloved, every single aspect of your life is important to God as much as it is important to you. When you are emotionally exhausted, because of your broken relationship, talk to God. When you are sick, talk to God. When you are feeling stressed at your job, talk to God. And when you are oppressed by those who are bigger, you still talk to God. God is so mindful of you and He will never get tired of listening to you. Talk to God with your songs. Talk to God in your prayer. Talk to God in your lifestyle in whatever you are doing and in what way feels best to you to let it all out. Just talk to God. There are times you will feel like shouting because your heart and head feels like exploding. Please shout. If you feel like crying, then cry. But by all means, my dear, 
in all our doing, make sure you do whatever it takes to lay it all out at the feet of the Master. My prayer for you today is that you receive strength to overcome your challenges and may all your challenges make you run to the Master with everything. You have got in Jesus' name. Amen. Remain blessed.